Like, here's a staggering thing. We just, we, we looked at, before the show, we looked at just how much money's been sent to Ukraine in the last, like, three years. Yeah, not $1 billion, not $5 billion. No. <laughs> it was close to $180 billion-ish that we could calculate. And we estimated that based on the U.S. population as of census end of 2022, actually, that that was $546 for every man, woman, and child of any age, working status or not, in the United States. Just write right? that check and just send and it off. And by the way, not one of those dollars existed. Every one of them has been printed or conjured by the federal government. Right. Okay. So if you continue to increase the money supply like this. You just dilute your own currency. Yeah. You dilute the, dilute the currency. And what does that mean? Assets, we're not creating more. You said it, Matt. Right. But now they have to reprice. They have to reprice. Because there's more money in circulation. Correct. Sa more dollars chasing the same amount of goods is inflationary in nature. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so government is stimulative when it spends economically, but it also contributes toward inflation in many cases. Okay. Now, tack on top of it, the fact that the government was spending at its all-time highs while interest rates were at all-time lows. What also happens? The, the consumer can borrow all the max amount. What does that mean? Big bad banks make lots of cheap loans, which puts tons of money in circulation, which does what? Drives up the price of assets. Well, it makes sense. If you can go get a mortgage at 2%, you can buy a lot of house. Right. Well, compared to today, sure. Yeah. But here's the really interesting thing. Prices have not come down appreciably compared to the nope. change in rate. Why nope. is that? Demand. And yeah, scarcity, not enough houses. Right. What is part of why we don't have enough houses? Because of all the red tape that it takes to get into a house or Government, to build. There's the, the free-ish capitalist market, the mm -hmm. ish They want of all the permitting fees. And all want, the fees, yeah. yes. The, the, the extraordinary amount. And it's not just the government saying, here's the permitting process, right? The building materials that go into it. Think about the additional red tape that's gone into the harvesting and manufacturing of lumber product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Significant increases in environmental regulation. Again, not a commentary if it's good, bad, or otherwise. The input costs have all escalated. Also, the labor cost has escalated. The fuel, fuel cost. Fuel. Right? All of these things get compounded. So every time that you see more administrative layers or more regulatory intervention, it drives the price higher. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? Well, the government's going to spend whatever it wants to because it can print money. Mm -hmm. Okay? And when the government was in trouble and needed to stimulate the economy, what did it do? It lower rates or encourage lower rates so that more money was available from banks. Yeah, I mean, it's great, right? right? Like, And when you, banks got in trouble, what did the government do? Bail them out. It gave, printed money and gave it to the banks to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. So when the economy was really strong, what did the government do? Oh, it clearly rained in its spending to save for a rainy day. Said nobody ever, right? It spent even more, right? right? And we can watch... Since, I mean, we can go back to pre-Clinton administration, say, from, from after Reagan, George H.W. spent more, Bill Clinton spent more than him, and then George W. spent more than Clinton, Obama spent more than George, right? And then we had Trump spent more than Obama, I think, in four years, and Obama had eight. Biden said, hold my beer, he spent more than everybody, right? And, and there's no sign of it stopping. No. Right? So you can't buy votes if you're not. Well, I, I, you went there. I did it. Right. I wasn't. It's not about buying votes. It's about part of it is there's well, everybody in office. There's no reason not to. Well, exactly. They're incentivized to do it. Right. There's no reason not to. Your constituents expect it. So what do we do? We keep printing money. What does this do, though? It has made everything radically unaffordable. So what do you do in this environment? Buy assets. You have to buy assets. Because the assets are what is repricing. And, the, you know, we've right. seen it. The middle class is owning less and less assets, if you look at the numbers. Right. 